Okay, let's start, let's go. Right, so the first thing I'd like you to do is to take the chicken breasts and to put them onto your board. And what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to open, cut them and open them. And then we're going to put our stuffing inside. So the fat side of the chicken breast is the area that we're going to cut into. Grab your mustard grain and then just put one teaspoon in each one. Grab some tarragon. So two nice, two nice sprigs of tarragon. Put those, run those down the centre. A couple of sprigs of thyme as well. So once you've seasoned it and you've got your mustard, you've got your tarragon, just fold the flap back over, over the top, just to seal it, like so. And I'm just going to put that back onto the plate that it came off. So all of you grab your baby gem lettuce, leave the stalk on, leave the root on. You don't need to worry about taking away too many of the outside leaves, and then just cut straight in half. I'd like to season it with some salt and pepper. And then you've all got your razzalanoot, the lovely Moroccan sp spice. Sprinkle plenty of it in the centre. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put the, the lettuce flat side down into the pan. So now we're just going to put in, you've got some garlic there. You don't need to peel it. Just, just cut some in half, some cloves of garlic. And then just drop them into the pan with the skin. What we're doing now is we're just incorporating a lovely garlic flavour. We're going to put some thyme into there as well, a couple of bay leaves and just a sprig of tarragon. Turn them over once you've got the colour on that side, on the flat side. Put a couple of knobs of butter into there, like so. Right, so what we've got there, we've just got them just gently colouring. Let's turn them back over, like so. And I'm just going to put a splash of chicken stock in there. And for anyone that's cooking vegetarian this evening, I hope you've got your vegetable stock ready as well. And just a small spoon of your stock into the lettuce. And even though they may not look cooked, that's absolutely fine. What we're going to do now is take them out of the pan and put them into a tray. If you've got a little cooking tray that you're going to put in your oven later, just put them onto that. So just lift those out of your pan and then just pour all the juice and all the herbs and all the garlic over the top. And we're just going to leave that sitting there. I've put my panties back on the stove. I'm going to put a little bit of oil. And now we can start to just increase the heat of the pan. So just a little splash of oil. What happens is when you put mushrooms into a pan, whatever liquid you've got in there, these mushrooms will just suck it up and absorb it. If I put in 200 ml of water, and put these mushrooms in, that would absorb all of that water. That's not what you want. So, to stop the, the, the mushrooms from absorbing the, the oil quickly, turn the heat up, you see it's smoking, and then just drop your mushrooms in. And what that does is that just sort of starts to seal the mushroom, and just gives it a lovely coating. Drop some thyme into there, bay leaf again. Now I've got my pan pretty much almost on, on full, but on number eight. And you can see the pan is smoking, don't worry. That's just putting a lovely seal on the outside of the mushrooms. And what you don't want is the mushrooms to release their own moisture. So it's nicely cooking away. Put a little piece of garlic. It's just gently cooking there. And I'm just going to put in a little knob of butter. And then we're just going to tip them onto the tray with our lettuce. So I've just put another drop of oil back into my pan. Just grab your two peeled shallots. Um, now we're going to start the sauce. This is the final part of, of, of the dish. So cut your shallots in half and then just slice them nicely, nice and evenly. I've chopped my shallots. I've got also three little cloves of garlic as well. And we're going to do exactly the same. My pan's still on the stove, and that's on number five. Oh, you've all got your lettuce still on the side. Your mushrooms are still on the side in a tray, and your chicken is just gently cooking through in the oven.
chop your garlic. So, and then just drop that into the bottom of your pan. If the pan starts to look a little bit dry, just another little drizzle of oil in there like so. Just mix it around. And then your shallots will just gently soften. Put in one good spoon of your mustard grain. Just mix that through. I'm just going to mix that around for about 30 seconds. And then we're going to next, we're going to add our brandy. Get your pans nice and hot. Keep it on the stove. Brandy in. A good glug of brandy. Bring that up to temperature. And then flame. Now you don't have to flame it, so don't, you don't need to do that. Just by boiling alcohol, just by boiling the, the brandy or the wine or the vermouth, burns all the alcohol away. But as chefs, we always like to just use our little, little gadgets. Reduce that down till it's pretty much gone. Grab your vermouth. And exactly the same, put a good, good, good splash of that in there as well. You're looking about 100 mil of each. So there we go. So what we're going to do, our vermouth is reduced. So our brandy was reduced to almost gone. The vermouth, you just reduce by half, like so. And we're just going to put in a lovely big spoon, two spoons, tablespoons or serving spoons of creme fraiche. Now you want to just turn it down to quite a low heat because you don't want to start to reduce it. If your sauce looks too thick, just use a little bit of your stock to, to let it down. Now what we're going to do is just do a squeeze of lemon. Always when you're creating sauces, especially cream sauces, it's always nice to put that alternative flavor and lemon juice just lightens everything up. A little knob of butter, that enriches the sauce but it also puts a lovely sheen on it too. And what you want to do now at this stage, you don't want to boil the sauce. Once you start to add knobs of butter into sauces, you don't want them to split. And if you put too much butter in and you boil it, it will all start to have a, like a, a bit of an oil slick on top of the sauce. You don't want that. You want to make sure you just monte it into the sauce. Good. Right, ready to plate up, everybody? I'm going to serve... I've got a, you've got a couple of ways. You can either plate up individually, you can put your chicken and your lettuce all on one plate and the sauce on the side. I just really sometimes like to put my lettuce on a separate dish. Put a few mushrooms on the plate. And with all the herbs and all the little garnishes that you put into the cooking, little tarragon and your, 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 your thyme, put those on top of your lettuce as well. And it's just there to, to add more flavour. It love, looks great on presentation. You've used the herbs. Show off. It's always nice to use them. As you can see, it's a great decoration to, to, to the plate. There we go. So you've got your, your garnish, your vegetables on the side. My chicken is on the pan. My chicken is on the board, I should say. Just sauce your plate. I always, where I, in my house, we we'll always dress the plates with just a little bit of sauce. And you can put your sauce on there too. And then just cut your chicken in half or into three pieces. And then just serve that on the side. And there we have it. There we go, guys. How are we doing? That's me done. Lettuce, mushrooms, vermouth tarragon sauce, stuffed chicken. Voila.